What is going on gamers? Welcome back to Beyond Two Souls. I am in a DPA mental hospital right now. Jody found out where her mother is, her real mother, and we are about to talk to her. Um, our uh, friend Cole, I think his name is Cole, I don't know. He's uh, the black guy who helps us out uh, with the experiments uh, when Jody was a little girl. He's a really nice guy, helping us out, sneaking us in here. Um, we're going to go talk to her right now, so let's see what's going to happen. Mom, it's me. Jody. They probably have her drugged up. Yeah, she's pretty dr drugged up. I'm your daughter. Help me, Aiden. All right, uh, let's see what we can do. Experiments on mother and the father, both gifted. Do you realize how important this baby is? You won't be able to, Nora. Let us take care of everything. It's for the best. You know that. That's my baby. Bring her back. I've changed my mind. I want my baby. So take her quickly. Please. Get the baby I out of here. develop some special abilities. Let us know as soon as anything unusual happens. Increase the dose. Make sure she never regains consciousness. Son of a gun. <sighs> Sorry. So the mom and the father had <laughs> abilities? Sorry. Just blinked, so whoa, what's happening? Destroy this thing, I didn't destroy it. Bring him free.
She's literally just a vegetable now. Wow. That's sad, but if I was Jody, I would bring this whole hospital to the ground. Whoa. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, oh, man, I don't want to kill her. I have to, I guess. Not good. That's sad. That. <laughs> what was that on the table? Oh, it was just a shimmer. I thought there was something on the table over there I needed to get or something. Oh, God. You did. You just have dub, dude. You now you done effed up. Well, at least my mom in a better place now. I guess I'm in the office of Nathan or something. It's pretty big office let me look around the hell is all of this let's go see what that is Jody what's that water What is all that? Doesn't look normal though, <laughs> I can tell you that much. Hey, it is Nathan's office. Well, where's Nathan? That's what I want to know. And that's the story, but let me see this real quick. Uh, where am I? Whoa. Oh, okay, I was at the ceiling. Didn't want to go all the way up to the ceiling. Is that alpha waves? Yeah, alpha waves. Alpha waves, alright. Just a bunch of alpha waves. What's that over there? Looks like a handprint scanner. It's time to get out of here. I want to. I want to see what this stands for. DPA or Defense Laboratory National. Oh, NDL. I don't know what NDL is. Where the heck are we? What is that? The most powerful condenser I've ever created. Impressive, isn't it? Nathan! Oh. Jody, it's good to see you. 
I was afraid something happened to you. You've lost weight. You look exhausted. I did just get knocked over the head. But at least you're alive. Let's go into my office. Yeah, that fancy place. <laughs> Please, have a seat. How do you feel? <laughs> um, I've been better. That hit on the head did not help. No, I'm sorry. I told them not to hurt you. I just didn't want to give you a chance to use Aiden. Nora. What happened to my mother, Nathan? Nora was unstable. They were afraid she was a danger to herself and her baby. My mother would never hurt me. They couldn't take that chance. Look, I was a researcher at the DPA, Jody. I didn't discover until much later what happened. What about Cole? Where's Cole? He's at home. He's fine. I know he was trying to help you. Don't worry, there won't be any consequences for last night. What's the truth? Why did you never tell me about my mother? Why did you hide the truth all these years? I tried to tell you. But how do you tell a little girl that her life isn't real? So, I looked after you. Loved you. Tried to protect you as best as I could. So now what? You're just gonna hand me back to the CIA? Is that the plan, Nathan? They brought you here because they have something for you to do, and they'd be very grateful if you do it. Help them? You want me to help the people that took away my mother and stole my life? I mean, haven't I done enough? We know another country has discovered the infraworld. They think it's something to be controlled or manipulated. They have no idea what they're dealing with. If entities enter our world, do you know what that would mean, Jody? What has all this got to do with me? Because you know the infraworld better than anyone. It's the CIA's job. And I'm done with that. Next time I see Ryan Clayton, I'm gonna snap his neck. They want to offer you a deal. You do this for them. And they let you out, you're free. Jody, do you know what would happen if a passage is open? It'll be the apocalypse. Yeah, it would. You have the power to stop this. What about the freaking condenser right outside your office? <laughs> Looked like it was about to explode. According to our intel, the Republic of Kazakhstan has discovered the existence of the Infoworld. Found a rift. Conducting experiments from a secret base located in the province of Heilongjiang. We don't know what stage they are in their experiments, but we've detected important fluctuations within the infraworld. That means they've found a way to interact with the other side. Now your mission is to destroy this condenser and any other advanced technology you find. Even if we manage to destroy the condenser, the rift will still be there. Well, building a condenser is a costly and time-consuming business. But this operation will gain time to better understand the infraworld world and to make sure that no one will try to use it against us. Well, I assume the site will be heavily guarded? Well, you should expect considerable military resistance. Team will. Team? Show them in, Marla. Hey, baby. Good to see you, girl. Who are they? Oh, hell no. Hell no. Clayton's team goes with you, a small, agile commando unit able to avoid detection. The mission begins in two days. Good luck. Be careful, Jody. No one knows what you're going to find on the other side. I'm pretty sure I have a good idea. Don't worry. I don't think I'm ready to join the infra world yet. 
Good. Because I don't want to lose you. Wasn't he worrying that the day I jumped out of the freaking jet <laughs> or the helicopter? It's good to see you. Uh, aggressive. Uh, looks like Aiden remembers me. Keep your distance, Ryan. Ho <laughs> ho Aiden is even less forgiving than I am. Yeah, dude. Right. Keep your distance. That those are words that only pure hate come from. Whoa. I'm shot? What's happening? Oh ah. I grew tired of all this. Uh huh. If you refuse to cooperate, I will have no choice but to kill you. Okay. Of course, I will kill you regardless. Of course. But it could have been fast and painless. Instead, it will be a very, very slow and agonizing death. So, I ask you one last time. Who do you work for? Aiden. Where are you? Okay, um... What happened? I guess we gotta find out. It's completely deserted! You sure it's here? Right on top of the coordinates. The storm's getting worse. What do we do now? Hey, Jody, ask Aiden to find a shelter somewhere. You hear that, Aiden? All right, gamers. Well, I'm Aiden right now. We have to find some shelter. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Let me know in the comments if you liked it. Um, also, hit like and subscribe for more gameplay videos and Beyond Two Souls as I upload them. Beyond Two Souls is uh it just it keeps changing. It I, I never would have expected it to go here. And that's a good thing because it's surprising. And usually with games you'll anticipate the next move. This game just throws you off of that and that's what makes a good game. Anyways, it's a good game. <laughs> You're freezing out here. All right, all right, yes, we can I'm just telling my subscribers the deal. Anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching once again, and I will see you all in the next one, gamers. Peace.